Late Night Help Hour 2 continues as uh, we go to Canada and we're going to spend some time with Eileen Head, who, by the way, is a member of the EBC that I was talking about last hour, the Evolutionary Business Council, and we were introduced by Robert Clancy. So that is why we found, or how we found, uh, Eileen. Uh, Eileen supports people to make sense of their relationships, and she is known as the Relationship Whisperer. Okay. Uh, Eileen, welcome to Late Night Health. Thank you for having me on. Oh, our pleasure. One of the most difficult things, I think, in life is having a relationship with other people. And I'm really, and, and Daryl, you've known me for long enough to be able to say, you know, I think I'm pretty easygoing. Sometimes Daryl gets mad at me because I screw up. I mean, we all do. Daryl and I have a, a relationship, a business one, a friendship one. And then there are relationships like um, with my wife. I've been uh, married for over 39 years. Did I say that out Yes, did I say that out loud? So <laughs> it, it, are relationships difficult? Well, they can be challenging uh, when we don't understand each other. And that's very difficult to do because... We believe our perspective is the only way to live in the world. And the, and then when you learn the other nine personalities, you go, wow, other people see, think, and feel differently and then react uh, from their place of their personality perspective. So, yeah, it can get challenging. Are you saying that we each have nine different personalities, like Sybil? <laughs> Is that what you were writing, Lynn? <laughs> or, or, or a cat. Or a cat, right. Uh, or uh, that there are nine different personality types. There are nine different personality types. However, we have all the traits in us. It's just that we focus our energy on how, how we want to be responded to, how we want to feel loved differently. Each of the nine personalities does that differently. So once you learn those, it opens up a wealth of information of how to connect, how to understand, and how to relate to other people. So why can't I figure it out, which is a clever way, of course, of promoting your best-selling international book. Why can't I figure it out? I mean, can we each do that? With, with understanding personalities, yes. And that was what was so astounding to me. I struggled in a 35-year marriage, and... I couldn't figure out why we were great people, same values, same morals, same goals, and yet we were unable to communicate and connect. And I searched for answers everywhere, thought it was myself, went through, you know, I'm not good enough, if I was better, did the whole gamut of self-esteem and self-worth challenges. And then when I, you know, when I couldn't figure it out, um, as I was leaving the marriage, that's what we do. If we can't figure it out, we give up and move on because it gets too painful to stay in a relationship that's not working. And so when I did find the Enneagram personalities, it was like reading my own operator's manual. It was the biggest aha moment of my life. And it told me things about myself that I had no idea, the great things about myself, what I challenge, what you know, challenges me and other people challenge with me. And then I was fascinated with learning about other people the same way. And these are called Enneagrams? Enneagrams. Enneagrams. And it's a really weird name. Yes, it is. Enneagram has been around since the 1700s. It is a well-respected, renowned model of personalities. It's unique from all other systems in that it has a path of development. And what that means is, not only tells you your traits, but it shows you what patterns are sabotaging you and how to relate, replace those patterns with more life-enhancing ones that will help you become the best person you can be. So it, it very clearly gives you, you know, a visual as well as written of how can I do life better? How can I become the person I'm meant to be? Are you and your former husband friends today yes we are we um you know we see our kids at least once a month he brings his girlfriend uh there is absolutely no tension 
because all of us know our personality types, and we all now understand that it really was about personality perspective differences. And I didn't realize that two-thirds of what couples fight about are individual personality perspective differences and are irreconcilable unless we understand our couple dynamics and our personalities within that. According to your bio, in 30 minutes, you knew more about yourself and your husband than you had in 35 years of marriage. That's an amazing thing. Uh, Absolutely. It was like, you know, I would see other couples, and they would be comfortable with each other. They would laugh together. They would, you know, they were they they seemed to be having fun together. And I I'd, I'd always go, huh? What's their secret, and why can't I figure it out? And I read stacks of self help books, and I read marriage manuals, and I still could not come up with what was happening between us until I found the enneagram, and I went. There were answers. I knew there were, and here they are. Could you have stayed together, or was it too late? It was too late. And at that point, he still wasn't at the point where he was willing to engage in the information in order to grow. Um, I just believed that it was never going to change. And, you know, there comes a time when you you just have... I devoted so much energy to this relationship that it was just sucking out my life force. And I started to get some funky medical reports, and I knew it was time for me to, you know, I said to him, I need to leave you for me. I felt out of integrity staying with him when I no longer loved him. Or loved him the same way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. He was at one exactly. time your Prince Charming. Exactly. <laughs> so are, have I you thought fi- we'd be married forever. Have you gone out to find a new Prince Charming? Oh, I haven't yet. <laughs> but you know the, the thing about being every single day and doing this self development is I kind of like my life as a single person and you know I enjoy it I'm I'm happy doing the things I have and when someone comes along that will enhance my life and and I'm able to do that for him and we are uh, uh, a match to do that a compatible match then I will be open to that relationship. I should point out that uh, Eileen is a best-selling author, and at the same time, uh, uh, she speaks throughout the world on relationships and does that on a regular basis as well. Uh, She has a certification, and you've actually developed your own operator's manual to relationship answers, really. Can you explain what you've what you've created? Yes, I've I've gathered together. You know, there's there's much research in many different books and and a wealth of information out there because the Enneagram is a very popular um, and well respected model, as I said. And so I've gathered all all the information and put it into a personality profile so that people can can learn about all the aspects of themselves in order to grow and. Um, you know, what I realize is that we have patterns that sabotage us, only they're so natural to us that we don't realize that. And so when you understand what your patterns are, you have a response ability. You have the ability to change how you're responding so you can manage your patterns better. For instance, my personality is a two supporter. And one of the big traits for the supporter is being a helper. We love to help everyone and nurture and care and help, help, help. And if I can help, it's it's just the oxygen that I breathe. However, I realized that I wasn't always uh, very healthy in my helping. So I could be intrusive. I could be um, overly connected. I would have people around me who were victims and liked to be victims, and I liked to rescue them. And then I realized that I was disempowering with overhelping some people rather than empowering. And there was a statement that said, you give so much, it gives me no other opportunity but to be a taker. And I don't like being a taker. So I had the need to help. I now help, but very differently from what I used to do. But I don't you... permission. Go ahead. I was going to say, but don't we all need to give and take? Oh, definitely, but to a helper, we're not good at receiving. (laughs) 
and receiving is really important in 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 terms of spirituality and and mental health is it absolutely not? right but if if what if you believe your worth and your value is only in giving that's very lopsided and unhealthy because it comes to the point where you are never looking after your own needs you're always looking after everyone else's until you burn out or get resentful or are unhappy. And do you find that many people today are resentful and unhappy because of their relationships, whether they be personal, uh, uh, romantic, uh, uh, husband, wife, uh, uh, spouse? I'm trying to cover all my bases here. Absolutely, because no matter where we are, we want to be valued and loved and appreciated. And when we're not being accepted or valued, that's very frustrating. But here's the thing. Is we, that before you go to, we're going to leave this as a cliffhanger and we're going to take a time out. When you come back, you're going to start by saying, here's the secret. Here's the thing. Eileen Head is our guest. Uh, she is uh, the relationship whisperer. And we look forward to more conversations with uh, Eileen coming up. Uh, I'm Mark Allen along with the insane Daryl Wayne. Lynn is watching us today, and we will continue. Don't go away. More to come on Late Night Health. You're listening to Late Night Health with Mark Allen. The show continues in a moment. Welcome to Guide to the Soul. This is Robert Clancy. Grief can be such a burden on your heart. It can be crippling to the point where you can't even seem to function. I've been there and I know that pain. But I also know you're not alone in that sorrow. We're all going through something in this life. Just as the sun has to face dark days, so do we. But the sun also has to shine again. Letting go of grief is not about letting go of your loved one. It's about making room in your heart for the love that you hold for them. If you have great grief, then you must have a very big heart too. It's time to fill your heart with that love and share it with everyone. For more inspiration from Robert Clancy, visit GuideToTheSoul.com or go to the Moments with Robert page on LateNightHelp.com. If you or someone you love suffers from drug addiction, now is the time to utilize your private health insurance PPL plan. If eligible, receive up to $30,000 or more in substance abuse benefits with low or no out-of-pocket cost. We are the National Treatment Network, the premier drug and alcohol treatment referral service operating 24-7. We help connect you with facilities nationwide that accepts PPO private health insurance for substance abuse. If you have PPO substance abuse coverage and you need immediate admittance to a medical detox or residential rehab treatment center, call us now. Call our live referral helpline today. The call is free. This program is not available to Medicare or Medicaid customers. Call 800-296-1252. 800-296-1252. 800-296-1252. That's 800-296-1252. 